slow. I haven't um, been around much, um, but I am okay other than my hair was, this was not what I was going for and it's permanent. What I used before was washout. I ordered the wrong thing and I don't know yet what I'm going to do. I have some purple washout that I might try to apply, but I don't think purple's my color. I'm afraid it'll make me look ghostly. Um, so yes, I am conscious of the fact that my hair is a pale cotton candy pink and then a I don't even know what to call this color. And, and then I went to the scissors and chopped the back and stuff off. So that's not wanting to go to the hairdresser and costing too much money. My, and this is going to be about appearance, this video. Secondly, in case anyone ever notices that my glasses look like they're lopsided, see I can see it in the camera so I keep going like this. It's not my glasses. I have one ear that is higher than the other ear where it rests. And so no matter what you do, and, and I try to bend the glasses to fit, to do, so it'll be right. You know, like one side of my Face is higher than the other, you know, like most people have different side faces, different sides look different. And so my glasses always look like they're crooked, but they're not. It's actually my ears it doesn't. That would be perfect if only this ear would cooperate. Or I don't know. Honestly, I don't know what it is. I just know that that's that it's not my glasses and I'm always very conscious of it, self-conscious of it. And my nails, I, I walk around it looks like I have dirty hands and that's from wood stain from making the brooms. I'm working on just wands right now and experimenting with wood and I do have to pat myself on the back because I was running I couldn't figure out a good way to dry the wands because I like them shiny and if I set them against anything it they get a dent they dry with a dent and so I used um dental floss and they're hanging from the ceiling and somehow, because of the physics, they hang like diagonals so the dental floss that is holding them up doesn't touch. And it's worked out really well. Um, and um, and of course, my hands, when they shake, I'm very self-conscious of that and you know I don't know why I didn't make the connection I didn't know enough about the tremor condition that my biological father has and turns out so does his two sisters um it used to be known as familial tremor because it runs in families and I didn't know my biological father until four or five years ago. And it, they have it in their voice. Um, the sisters, their heads shake too. And I remember when they told me when I met them that this runs in the family, so you got to keep an eye out. And I was like, eh, whatever, years ago. And then... Um, seems like I have beginning to have um, that he can't write 
his handshake so much. His wife does that. I'm sure she does other things too, but he understands when I said I, the reason I just spoke, I actually spoke up to my doctor because I was there for something else was um, I'm trying to paint, well, stain the wand and get, apply the stain and my hands weren't, would like shake, not tremble, but just shake so much that I couldn't do it and I'd get frustrated and give up. And he totally sympathized with that. Lately, I haven't had a big problem with it, but um, um, looking back, I have been apologizing for my handshaking for at least a year and not and assuming it was, I, I think I already said all this already. Assuming it was like, oh, my blood sugar is low. Oh, it's my medication. And and then I, and when I read about essential tremor, everything was just checked off the boxes. So anyway, I haven't been on here mainly because of my hair. I was, it's toned down. It was god awful. Um, anyway, um, but my big, my big appearance problem right now, I'm getting frustrated and, and, um, this one's a tough one for me to, um, counter, you know, with cognitive, you know, um, behavioral therapy, try to counter the negative thoughts, and that's my weight. Um, I initially gained a whole lot of weight when I was first getting on bipolar medication, trying to figure out what work for me and plus a prolonged depression and I had no I slept all day and had no motivation um I was very angry I was in a bad bad place in my life and um food made me feel better and um particularly I was addicted to McDonald's and pancakes um and and I just and I just got to a number where I was like I am not reaching the next number and like that I was able to cut back calories do more exercise um and in two years, I lost too much weight. I actually got too low. I got addicted to the losing the weight. Um, and I did okay for a really long time. And then when I started working at the shelter, I didn't have as much time to dedicate to counting calories and going for two one hour walks a day. I mean, it was like in the snow, in the freezing cold, I would go for walks. And um, this time around, I'm, I'm like, I go up in the number and, and I have the same feelings about the weight gain. Um, you know, I thought, well, I'm getting my my um affirmation my i had been getting it from weight loss the feel good um self perception feedback from people and i lived off that and then i was getting 
good feedback f from working at the shelter and um, doing well with that. And so I transferred from weight loss to that. So weight loss wasn't as much um, as big a deal. And I could say, well, I didn't exercise, but I was at the shelter like for 12 hours walking around. Why can't, I don't understand. I was in constant motion there, and anyway, I would I still gained weight. I would be so hungry though, and now, now I've got so much. Well, anybody who is concerned about their weight and health and stuff. It's winter, so it's, and I'm older, so I, it's, I'm more, I don't know, I just am not as tough, or I feel the cold more, I'm not really sure which, but I just don't, and it's like, well, I gotta do these things before I can go for a walk, but it's cold. Wow, and that wouldn't have stopped me before. And um, I'm getting the junk food out of the way. That's been good. I was having a problem with my mom bringing home stuff, you know, that she thought I would like. And so I finally was like, serious, you gotta stop bringing stuff home. <laughs> Yeah, stop bringing ice cream home and um, donuts and stuff. And so, because I would try to not eat it, but it, when I take my Xanax is when I'm at my weak point, I guess, because you're, you're, um, um, inhibitions are lower and 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 things don't matter as much you aren't so i wish i could um have a way to get the effects of the xanax to help me go to sleep without the inhibition part um and i i conquered that pretty well um, it's the physical activity that I have trouble with. Um, the, I used to go to the, um, community center where they have a, um, gym and and um, I could walk and do some of the machines. Um, and it, I mean, it at least made me feel better. But I can't go because of COVID. I would go with a mask and six feet distancing if it weren't for living with my mom has asthma and she's older so um and i forget i get lost in other things projects um it's like i have one thing i'm completely obsessed with and it's that thing and nothing i can't seem to be obsessed with more I guess that's the definition of obsessed, but, um, I'm still playing with making wands and that's all, all I think about. And I'm like, well, I need to get some exercise. And, well, those wands are waiting. I gotta see if I can get those done. So, um, but my... The way I feel in my body, the way my body feels, like I can 
feel it, especially in the evening after I've had dinner. I suddenly become very uncomfortable in my clothes and um, and I become very conscious of the parameters of my body in my clothes and it's not like my clothes are too tight or anything it's just that my skin is touching where I would rather them not I would I can't stand body parts touching other body parts it drives me crazy um and um and I get kind of irritable and agitated and tugging at my clothes and and I get angry that most of my clothes I can't wear because they don't fit when I know there was a time when they did and and I won't throw them away because I believe I'll be able to wear them again someday and I wouldn't I don't have money to go buy more clothes and I like my clothes I liked I I do miss the um the time that I had that was all about losing weight but it was very unhealthy towards the end there and um, it's bad for you in so many ways but I do miss that feeling of getting on a scale and keeping track and seeing it go down and and you get a sort of euphoria when you don't eat um, after a while a kind of euphoria it's a little weird but um it's all consuming though you can't have a life and behave that way and um and one thing is i already have trouble with my teeth i never um had an issue with bulimia um it was uh i didn't i cut calories a lot and try to outdo myself and um like it, the diet started out healthy and then became an obsession and something unhealthy and it seems like i can't stay in anymore in a middle zone seems like i just i just hate this body i just i i hate it i can't tell you how much i hate it and i hate that i have to eat i hate eating but i eat i get really hungry so i eat and i'm like and i say horrible things to myself regarding that um weak um undisciplined stupid um just stuff like that ah uh, and Medication doesn't help. Never stop taking medications because of weight gain. Um, because I gain more weight in the hospital than I do out. Um, but just how I feel physically, I just hate, I just hate being in this physical realm called my body it's horrible um i i it's just not okay 
to me. It is not acceptable. There is no reason for it that I cannot lose weight and exercise. Like, there's, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying, I'm not trying to, um, I'm just trying to express myself, but this is a topic I have a really hard time expressing myself. Um, I, 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 don't think I'm the only one. I know that. Um, I get a lot of it from growing up. Um, my dad was very, that I grew up with, not my biological father, my stepdad who adopted me, who's now my dad. He's been my dad since I was two. But he is very old fashioned and young ladies were supposed to behave like young ladies and look pretty and um, be thin. And um, when I did gain all that weight that I mentioned before, there were things that, that just like people don't even know their they're doing it, right? They say things that are very hurtful and they don't even know that they're doing it. So in like, it, he said something that really hurt me and I kind of, I, I like stopped talking to him for years because of it. Um, I, anyway, I just wanted to, in case you're feeling the same way, you're not alone. I, I, I seem to be okay and ex, ex, acceptable with myself during the day and then in the evening something happens, except when I see my reflection or a picture of myself, I can't believe it's me. I'm like, that doesn't look at, like me. That can't be me. I can't. No. No. And so now I'm like, I don't, no one, I don't want to see anyone. I don't want to go anywhere. I don't want anyone to see that I've gained weight. And, um, it's not fair. <laughs> it's not fair. You always skinny, no, no matter what you do, people, I would like to punch you in the face hard. Um, that would make me feel better. Um, I got... I had mentioned that I was getting a medical alert bracelet again, and I found that you can get these doohickeys that go on your watch. So I have one here. Um, my watch instead of a whole different bracelet to get in the way and keep track of. So I thought that was pretty cool. We'll see how long the inscription takes to wear off. Um, anyway, I'm just pouting about my body. I can be okay with a lot of things and be very understanding with myself about a lot of things, but this thing, I think because of I don't know, so many things, messages you get from other people, family, TV, 
internet that um makes people feel like feel negatively about their bodies whether it's something i mean you don't they don't fully understand it's not as easy as you think um I wish I could try, like, let somebody borrow my head for a week, just so they knew. So, like, I'm getting very conscious that I'm gaining weight here. And so now I don't like my face in the computer unless I do some... Um... This is kind of just me rambling, but really it's me trying to express something and, and it's so big and vague and uncomfortable that I can't express it very well at all. I just know I'm very, very unhappy and uncomfortable when it comes to my reflection or my feelings and opinion about being thin or fat or so Um, makes me wish the store just didn't have some things, but like I said, I've gotten better, and, and just, I don't know, wish I could hide. Um, I don't know how I got outside in the freezing cold before to walk. It was like freezing. And I went out there every day in the snow and walked for like 45 minutes to an hour twice a day. Wow. How I must have been in completely insane. And now I wish that I was that insane again so I could lose weight. But it probably would never stay and just get fat again. And just, I don't, I don't want to already getting old. I don't want to get old and fatter. So I'm just whining. I'm gonna go. Um, I don't even know if I'll post this. I really just don't have anything to say. So I'm very unhappy about that right now. Well, every night. All right, well, good night.